Maybe you're a swimmer and you're thinking of going on a swimming vacation. Well, my name's Paul Hober and I'm here on the island of Mathraki in Greece with the Swim Quest team. And I've been here for three or four days now and I'm telling you I'm having the best time imaginable. Look at this clear, perfect water from this beautiful golden sands. We've got Georgios who takes out on a boat every day, twice a day to do a swim. I personally have uh, uh, chosen to go on a slightly more relaxed version of the holiday rather than the speed week, but I'm still able to do maybe four, four and a half K like I did today. Some of the other guests may be opting for two, two and a half K. It's perfect, it's chilled and relaxed. And Natalie and Tom, who are instructors this week, are simply fantastic. Between George, Natalie and Tom, they know every single place we can go to. So the itinerary, needs to reflect what's happening with the, the wind. And so sometimes we might be on a different side of the island, other times we might be going and, and exploring caves somewhere else. If, if you haven't done a swimming holiday yet, and yet you're uh, someone that enjoys swimming, and you can probably do a K or a, or a couple of kilometers, this sort of week will be absolutely perfect for you. I think that this has been perfect for me in terms of wanting to relax and enjoy myself and, and get some swimming done. I guess I'm going to be looking at around 25 kilometres by the end of the, of the week. I think possibly the speed week might be the next one that I'll choose to go on. Um, I didn't realise my level of proficiency would, would be okay for that. Um, and I'm looking forward to coming on my next trip. So listen, if, if this looks pretty ideal to you, because it's definitely ideal to me, then think about getting involved with SwimQuest and book your holiday right now. The team are really helpful, the admin is absolutely spot on, and, and I have to say the write-ups on the website fully help you to understand exactly what you're getting. Matraki is a quiet island, but that is, in, in its essence, its beauty. There's, there's enough time for me to have a bit of downtime, relax and recuperate, and I'm a solo traveller. My wife and kids aren't so in swimming or a little bit young, so I've come on my own, um, and, and never do I have a dull moment. So honestly, seriously consider it. I, I cannot recommend it highly enough. Thanks for listening.